Well, good afternoon again and welcome to the preview for um, Spring Attack. It's Perth Cup Day in Western Australia. Uh, it's a reasonable meeting at Flemington, a couple of races there. Um, sort of going through them, trying to find something at a bit of a price. Um, at this stage, haven't haven't made a decision as to how we may play. Uh, probably the uh, quaddy at Ascot. Um, with the Perth Cup, I mean, it is an awful, awful race. Um, no, no depth, no quality there at all. So when it's like that, always a good chance to uh, get a blowout. Um, and big fields the last couple of races. Uh, found one in the last uh, that's trialled well that uh, may be a bit of a price that we could uh, have a little stab at. But we'll get to that later. Um, the opening few races at Ascot, nothing of any great interest. Uh, race four, Silver Spec was uh, pretty impressive winning first up. Barrier two, this is no harder. It's going to be hard to beat. Trading day, it tramped wide and was too good for them first up. It's got the bad gate. Um, so no advantage there. They look the best too. Miss Bucks is an interesting one. This was um, settled last and just didn't do anything. But it had three really good trials leading into that, so it was a bit of a surprise how poorly it went. Wouldn't be surprised to see it bob up at a big price. Um, and um, number 12, Paso del Prado. Now, new trainer coming over to WA, obviously. A uh, very soft trial about a month ago. Interesting to note that he's given it a month off. and. Uh, Good trainer, Andrew. So don't be, just be careful with this one. He might uh, he might have this one geared up for this day. Um, four on top from two, six, seven, uh, five, and twelve. Race five. Don't like the race. Thunder loving. Uh, went poor first up after a really good trial. Um, they found a small problem. Uh, then he took it back to the trials. He rated Stone Cold. Don't be surprised to see this one improve. If they bet any sort of price, um, you're entitled to have something on it. Uh, Amarino looks best of the rest. Both of those, if you can get seven or eight to one the pair, uh, maybe worth a bet. Now we go to race six. This is the opening leg of the quaddy. Looks only two chances in the race. Maybe three if Shining Knight. Um, probably it's, it's the next best, although it's fallen in last start. Uh, by an eyebrow, went against it, coming out of Buffering's race, and it, it got the money, but I uh, uh, was lucky to win, in my opinion. Uh, don't like horses like this, back markers, and giving horses big start. I think Magnifico or Jutin, one of these will win. Shining Knight's probably the only other one you can consider. Nothing else should have a winning chance in the race. Um, so it's a skinny opening leg um, for, for the quaddy. Race seven, the cup. Martin's come over. Um, one of Wallers. Yeah, it's a fairly ordinary horse, but uh, these, these are not much good. So it wouldn't need to be much good to beat these. It's probably the one to beat. It's got the visitor's gate, naturally. It's drawn the river. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to be taking the shorts about it, but uh, it's got a chance in a race like this. It's a really bad race. Well, when you, as soon as you look at the weights, when you see King Capital at 59, uh, Rohan at 56, one at 55 and a half, and virtually that 95% of the field's on the limit, just shows you how bad a race this has become. Um, there's a couple here I think we, you know, we'd probably include at a price. I think Moonlight Bay goes in, Starlight Lady will go in, Pot Culture won't be any fancy price, but it's got to go in. Dane Lick, Cybercrime, Operational, these have all got some winning chance. It's an awful race, we'll probably load up quite wide. Um, may even play a pick four here by virtue of the fact that it feels so bad. Anything could run a place, we might fluke something at a big price. Uh, got 16 on top from 6, uh, 13, 2, 9, 8, 14. Race 8, Miss Topsy Turvy. Um, into a nice mare's race here. 
probably going to be hard to beat. Bipo Bo, uh, no bungus, was good last start. It'll be in the finish. Uh, Rose of choice. Don't think this runs past 14 or 1500, so I'll be happy to risk it again. We risked it last time and we didn't disappoint us. It ran bad. I think uh, we'll give it a miss again. Probably include Elite Bell, Rosalie looking ahead. Take half a dozen there. There's a bit of value in that race. Um, and the last. Now, uh, Raised in Flames. Interesting one, this one. Uh, nice trial. Um, he's had a couple of trials and he looks ready to go in a race like this. Never won first up. He's placed three or four. Uh, I think this is the, the way to go in the last. Number eight, Raised in Flames. I think um, the dangers could be uh, 10, Ford Lotus. This will improve second up. And world domination ran well last start. Wouldn't need to improve much. Of the rest, maybe Western Blaze, Red Mercedes. Uh, the trainer gave everyone their heads up last time. He said it needed one more run. It ran accordingly down the track. Uh, don't be surprised to see it improve at a bit of a price. Um, I've got... 12 on top from 10, 8, 3, small chances to 11, and maybe the uh, the 7. Um, Eagle Farm, nothing there of any great interest. Ellerslie, they've got some good racing at Ellerslie tomorrow. Obviously, it's one of their big days. Uh, race, there we go. We went to race 7, I think. Yeah, race 7, the big, uh, the big uh, mile race. Um, Diadem got a bad barrier this time, so it's probably going to struggle to get across and get a soft lead. Uh, you'll need to ride it really well to get it into the race, but uh, it ran good time last time. If it runs like that, it'd be hard to beat here. Brave Centaur is probably the nuisance to it because it's a front runner and he won't surrender the lead. So those two, I think, are going to chop each other up. So it's going to leave it for something sitting off. The one that, uh, I think is the, the improving horse with no weight. It's number 13, ready, steady. Now, this stormed home um, in fast time to dead heat last time. Now, it's uh, down in weight here on the limit with 52 kilos. I think this is pitched in at the weights given the time that it ran. On times, it's going to beat them, especially with 52. Uh, it's the one to beat for me. Lady Kipling... Uh, this was a big effort last start. They walked in front. It was last. And they come flying home, beating the length. Um, 59 kilos. Got to give the other one 7 kilos. If it runs 134 something, it's going to be hard for it to win coming from behind. But uh, it's a good horse. Uh, and of the rest, maybe 11 chintz and 6 sacred star. Uh, but a good race. I think 13 is the way to go. So Ellerslie race 7 will lock number 13. Um, ready, steady, at a price on the each way basis for anybody wanting to have a bet in New Zealand. The um, the railway there, good race. I think Waterford is the one to beat. Uh, hasn't had a run for a while. He's given it six weeks off. Uh, it's been set for this. Um, I think it's the one to beat. The danger, I think, if they ride Natusi properly and uh, just wait, and he comes with one big run at the end. It's the danger. So I'm going to go for nine to win. Save on the four. Uh, it's a good race. Uh, quality sprinters. That's probably the best they can muster at this time of the year. Nine Waterford on top from number four in the Tuzi. Um, got the uh, Auckland uh, or City of Auckland Cup. Uh, good race. Number 15, Mosquito. This was a good run last start. It was winding up nicely. They went back to last. Got barrier five. It won't go back to last in this. I think it's over the odds at uh, 10 or 15 to 1. Um, you'd probably get better than that, actually. So um, must be included. So we, we'll vop for uh, Ellerslie race nine, number 15 on the each way in a, in a pretty tough race. Uh, we go to Flemington. Uh, the Quaddy starts with one of these mongrel staying races. I mean, we got knocked out of the Quaddy last week in the 2500, something that 
coming out of the Stony Creek nonsense race uh, has got up and run the 25. This is worse, 2,800. And a lot of these are going to be going up and down in the one spot, 600 from home. I don't know whether we bother playing the quaddy. If I could find an anchor somewhere in one of the other legs, we'd probably load up in this crap race. Um, I mean, unchain my heart. Crafty cruiser, hurdy-gurdy, man. These things are running around every week. Um, Blazing Dragon, we've had a couple of goes with it. It's not much good. Call Me Dance coming out a week, Adelaide 4. Uh, Outback Joe was not a bad run. This one could be one at a bit of a price. Uh, if anybody's looking to have a bet in a, in a nice staying race for, for crabs. Uh, number six, Outback Joe. But really tough race. Uh, race six. Disappointing race to Standish. Uh, usually they get a big field. Shows you how bad uh, these are. You've got Ethiopia with 59 and the rest of them have got 54 on the limit. So no quality here. Uh, SA Raider, the South Australian. Runs up to its last run. It's got a good chance to win this. Most of these are no good. Uh, Flamberg, it knuckled at the start, for, uh, last start. That was really the end of it. Um, it. It's probably got a chance. By the way, ran a nice race down the straight. Uh, but it's an eight-year-old now. Uh, and again, the circles, not impossible. Morant, got a bit of cat in this. Last two starts, loomed up. Looked like it was going to win twice and then gave it away. Um, addiction to rock on the Adelaide form, I suppose it's fairly close to SA Raider. Um, three, nine, seven, eight, six, they look the best chances. Race seven, uh, another 2000 metre race. Electric Fusion, uh, Index Linked and Angelology. You would think that one of these three is going to win. Um, maybe Whisper Downs could finally, if it was to put its best foot forward, it, it may stretch them a little bit, uh, but not a lot of depth in that race. And the last race, um, maybe this is where we find the banker. Long, uh, longer on was good first up. Uh, this is no hard. I think it's got a really good chance to win this. Herad, um, if he rides it just with a little bit more patience, doesn't go too hard early, and if he can get away from them coming around the turn, it'll give them something to run down. It's got to go in. They look the main two chances for me in the last. Um, best of the rest after that, probably uh, oh, number 10 being Divine and the 12. They look the main four chances for me. 4, 1, 10 and 12 in the last. Don't like the Hastings meeting. Uh, Ranwick's very, very disappointing meeting. Smallish fields, nothing there. And uh, the other New, uh, New Zealand meeting at Waikuti. Uh, it's not much of a good, not much of a meeting. So uh, at this stage, possibly a quaddy in uh, Flemington, and I think maybe a quaddy and uh, probably a pick four at Ascot in the Perth Cup, by virtue of the fact that the race looks impossible with uh, bad horses. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, very happy New Year to all of you, and may you all have a great and successful 2014 on the punt, and obviously in your health and anything else.